Okay, so I'm going to be talking about dosage, um, especially with antibody screens. And so I want to tell you a little bit first about, I hope this is the right one. We'll find out. Yep. Okay, so these are our groups that show dosage. So you've got your M, N, and S group, which includes your little s too. Um, your R, H group shows dosage. Your kid and your Duffy. And so down here, I rewrote them out as um, as the groups because you know sometimes if you know that M, N, S, and R, H do it, um, that's helpful. But it's not helpful if they're like, okay, well, how about big C and little C? So unless you know which ones are part of that group. Um, so you've got your um, your kid, which is your JKA and JKB, because kids joke around. And then you've got your Duffy A and Duffy B, so your FYA and FYB. You've got your big D, you've got big C, little C, big E, and little E, all part of the RH group. And then your um, M and S group is going to be your M and N, and then big S and little S. Um, and then the way to remember them is kids and Duffy the monkey. So your monkey is your RH, your rhesus monkeys, um, eat lots of M and N's. So kids and Duffy the monkey eat lots of M and N's. Let me fix this a little bit here. Okay. So I'm gonna have y'all walk it, walk you through it with me. And what we're gonna do first is just like a normal antibody screen. So where do we start? With the second row. Yep, so we're gonna start with the second row over here. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with the second row because it's our first that's negative all the way through. We can't do the first one because there's a positive at the AHG phase. Um, so what we can do is uh, mark out any positives in a um, all negative results row. So that's gonna start us off with two. And so we can go here, that one's by itself anyway. We'll cross off your XGA. Um, LUA and LUB. Um, for this video, we'll only mark off the homozygous positives. So can I mark off LUB? Yes. Yes. Let me get a different brush. I don't like this one after all. Okay, and then our next one is going to be um, big S and little s. So can I mark off big S? Yes. Yes, because uh, little s is negative, so it's homozygous for big S. And then M, um, who's M's partner? N. N, yep, so can I mark off M? You can mark off M. Yep, because it's homozygous for M, N is negative. P1's by itself. Now JKA, is that homozygous? Yeah. Yep. And then Duffy B, homozygous or heterozygous? Uh, homo. Homozygous, so I can mark off Duffy B. JSB, that's homozygous, so I can mark that one off. Um, KPB, homozygous. How about, um, how about, Kel and Solano. Well, no, because they're head row. Yes, but I'm going to go ahead and circle them just to, to kind of note to myself that those are heterozygous positives. Um, CW, mark that one off. And then um, little E and big E. Can I mark off little E? Mm -hmm. Yep, homozygous for little E. 
And then big C, can I mark off big C? Mm -hmm. I can mark off B. Okay, so what's the next row that I can work with? Uh, five. Five, so then we've got, we've already marked that one off. Already, how about little s? Can I mark off little s? No, it's hetero. No, it's heterozygous. So if you're ruling out without that aspect, then you could. Um, but since we're going to only be ruling out homozygous, um, then little s is still in. These are all marked off. LEB? Lewis, can we mark out Lewis B? Yes. Yes. And that's another thing I try to do to myself when I'm going across these to not only like, you know, it's given me LEA and LB, LEB, but to think in my head, okay, what's the, what's the actual name of that? It's just a little more reinforcement. So JKB, kid? Mm -hmm. Okay, mark off kid B. Already got that one marked off. Already got KPB marked off. Um, Kel, can I, or uh, Solano, can I do Solano now? Uh, yes. Yes, now I can mark off Solano because it's homozygous. Mm, little E's already marked off. Little C, can I mark off little C? No, it's head row. Yep, yeah, it's heterozygous, so we'll leave that one for now. What's our next row that we can work with? Eight. Okay, we got eight. There you got that one marked off. Um, Lewis A, or I'm sorry, Lutheran A. Yes. Can we? Yeah. I mean, no, no, it's head row. Oh, yep, because Lutheran B right. is so positive. You're okay. <laughs> we got it. I can see we definitely need a piece of paper with this stuff. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, already got that one in. Can we mark off in? No, head row again. Yep, so we've got head row here. B1's already marked off. LEA. Yes. Lewis, yep, because that's homozygous. Mm -hmm. These are marked off, marked off. I know it's easier on paper with like a ruler or another paper to cover it up. Yeah. Plug my laptop in real quick. These worksheets are making me think about getting a printer. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, mine's been a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even happy with my printer at home. I even went and got ink and braved the virus to go get ink, and now my printer's not doing too great either. Where was I? At? I'll start it. Solano, little E. Okay, um, can I do little C now? Yes. Yes, now I can do little C because it's homozygous. And what's my next row? Nine. Nine. Have all been marked off so far. Little S, can I mark out little S now? Yes. Yes. Um, in, can I mark off in now? Yes. Yep. No, it's getting harder <laughs> to see them all the way down, huh? Um, And no on the rest. Your E's are head row too. Yep, you're right. So we've got heterozygous for big E and little E, so we cannot mark big E out yet. The rest are marked out. And what else? What's next? Are we done? Yeah. Okay. So at this point, we can tell you which ones that we cannot mark out. So usually it'll ask what antibodies present, and then it'll ask um, which ones cannot be ruled out. So at this point, we cannot rule out big E. We cannot rule out Kel. We cannot rule out KPA. And just for the record, KPA and JSA are very rarely ruled out, but they're also very rarely the antibody of concern. And then Duffy A, 
What is the name for KPA again? Uh, it's part of the Kell blood group system. Okay. So there's more antigens um, in a lot of the systems than just like uh, Kell specifically has, um, let's see, it's either 19 or 37. Just a second, I have it right there. 32 antigens in the Kell group system. So, you know, we only have, what, three anahedical partners on here. So there's a lot more, but these are the ones that um, are on the screen. Okay, so now we have all of our ones that cannot be ruled out. But now we need to see which one matches. So we've got um, for E, the no. first one's negative, so that doesn't match. Second one's negative, that one matches. Um, positive, positive, nope, it's the only one that matches there. So that one's not matching too well. Kel, we've got negative first, nope, that one doesn't match. Positive <laughs> matches. Oh, I'm sorry, I had it switched there, didn't I? Yep, a, 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 a. yep. JSA, KPA don't match, but your DEPA matches all the way down. So you've got a positive, negative, positive, positive. So that one matches all the way down. So we know it's probably going to be our DEPA. So Duffy A, if you look over here, um, here's Duffy's partner. So we've got Duffy A and Duffy B. So I want to go through all the positives for Duffy A and um, for y'all to tell me whether they're homozygous or heterozygous. So um, row one, is that homozygous or heterozygous? Uh, heterozygous, because they're both positive. And now um, row two, is that, or uh, row three is the next positive. So is that homozygous or heterozygous? Homo. Homozygous. Um, row four, homozygous or heterozygous? Homo. Homozygous. And then um, the next one's row six, I think. Since it's seven, we're gonna be hetero. Wait, yeah. Six and seven are hetero. So you got six and seven here are both heterozygous. And homo and hetero next. And then um, our next positive. Uh, 10 and 11, what are those? 10 is? Homo. Homozygous. And 11 is hetero. And 11 is heterozygous. So what I was doing is I was underlying, underlining them and then putting a dot over here that color coordinates with either homozygous or heterozygous. So that way you can look at it um, with the reaction. So in our, um, in our cases here of um, our green is our heterozygous. And so you get two plus reactions in all of your heterozygous results. So two plus, down here, two plus, two plus, and two plus. But your homozygous, when you're homozygous for DEFEA, you're getting three plus reactions. So three plus, three plus, three plus. So which one's stronger? Homo. Homozygous. So homozygous is going to yield a stronger reaction um, in your dosage um, antibodies than a heterozygous would. And that's all there is to it. Mm.